Well, we're here at the Innovation Institute uh, at Henry Ford. This is one of our newest additions to the Henry Ford uh, Hospital campus. It's a great collaborative between uh, Henry Ford Health System, the College of Creative Studies, Wayne State University, and the Henry Ford, uh, the great museum uh, that we have in Dearborn. It's a great uh, institution which is uh, being put together to try to create products and hopefully develop uh, industries and businesses around those medical design uh, products. Today we're also going to uh, talk about a topic that is uh, uh, very important, now not only to uh, Henry Ford Hospital, but to Frank's uh, ideal uh, group, and that's uh, innovation uh, uh, in Detroit. Uh, and one of the big innovations to come out of uh, Detroit recently is the electric vehicle, and specifically the Chevy Volt uh, plug-in uh, range-extended electric vehicle with onboard uh, gasoline generator built by General Motors, one of Ideal Group's uh, customers. And so not only did uh, Frank show the uh, support uh, for GM's innovation by buying one, uh, but he bought two of these uh, vehicles. And uh, he's also been blogging uh, uh, about the experience on his blog, uh, Frank's V in the D. So Frank's uh, even been loaning his Volt to people in Detroit to spread the word about uh, what he considers, and I think many of us consider to be game-changing uh, products. And today I'll be behind the wheel of uh, one of the Volts going around uh, uh, something that's near and dear to me in the various uh, 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 areas that uh, uh, consist of the uh, Henry Ford uh, health system. So I wanted to talk uh, to Frank a little bit uh, about, uh, about the Volt. Uh, um, I mean, what, what makes it so unique and uh, how does it, how does it uh, what really makes it different than other vehicles that are out there? Well, to me, I've been fascinated in electric, mo uh, electric power. Uh, it was a lot like the first uh, lawnmower I bought that had electric charge on it and it would charge and I'd get it done with half of my lawn and then I'd have to stop and charge it up again. It didn't work very well. But I've always been intrigued with the electric power and, and, and how to be greener. I uh, got into the Chevy Volt. I was mixed into some of the uh, concept designs. I was mixed into some of the opportunities to, where they asked me my opinion on what I felt what was needed on the Volt. And today I'm an electric Volt expert. And uh, on one car I have 13,000 miles. My gas mileage is uh, a little better than 108 miles per gallon and it's just an incredibly fun car to drive. You know, it's nice to have an electric vehicle, but I'm interested in really uh, wanting to know what this vehicle uh, does. I mean, how, what kind of guts does it have and how does it perform? The car is amazingly fast, up to 60 miles an hour. Most people that I've lent the car to, one, when they get into a little car, they think the little car is slow, small, it doesn't really park that good, the leather isn't top grade, uh, the sound system isn't excellent, but when you get in a Volt, it's the best of everything, and uh, the greatest thing is, is uh, you're the really one of the first people ever to drive electric, and and we it is built here in Hamtramck in Detroit, so that's the other great part. Yeah, that's th those are all great things. I do have to say that in uh, just driving it over uh, from uh, from your uh, uh, ideal group, uh, Frank, over here to uh, Henry Ford and making the curve around. Uh, onto the lodge and accelerating a little bit. It does have that slot car feel. It's, uh, it's a lot of, lot of fun to, uh, to drive. Oh yeah, and we'll have more fun today. It's, it sounds great. So uh, uh, we, were, we are off uh, to uh, other parts of the uh, Henry Ford Health System to uh, talk about innovation, uh, but we're also going to see about this, uh, this great innovation uh, called the uh, Chevy Volt. I mean, it's kind of old school. They got like the Porsche pump-up uh, oh, pump seat. Okay. Yeah, so the old uh, old ones. Okay. And um, it's just a, just a really neat car. Yeah. So we're going all around. We're going to take it out to Bloomfield, okay. head over to the Innovation Center. Okay, cool. Just kind of talk about innovation, okay, cool. you, know, cool. as it, you know, as it relates to autos and then innovation yeah, cool. as it relates to medicine. Right. We're here at Henry Ford Hospital. Want to talk about innovation and medical innovation? This is where a lot of it started. This was one of the first hospitals to have private rooms. Everyone had their own bathroom in those private rooms. It was a smokeless uh, uh, environment as well. And we've had a number of innovations relating to uh, medical products, the use of uh, a variety of, uh, of medications, as well as some of our more recent uh, innovations, such as the use of robotic technology in actually creating uh, the specific robotic uh, prostatectomy as Dr. Monty Menon uh, developed. Uh, I also have to say is that it's a beautiful day. Uh, this is October. 
Uh, this is how it pretty much is uh, the entirety of the winter uh, here in Detroit. Always sunny, always beautiful. <laughs> Marianne, good to see you. Hi, good to see good you. To see you. I want you to meet uh, Frank Menegas from Marianne Turno. Frank Marianne Turno, Chief Marketing Officer at HAP. Oh, nice to meet thank you. Thank you, my pleasure. Great, we're here at uh, Health Alliance Plan with Marianne Turno, who's the Chief Marketing Officer for uh, Health Alliance Plan. We've been showing this great innovation in uh, automotive uh, technology in the Chevy Bolt. I want to hear a little bit about innovation in uh, the medical insurance uh, area. What's it being innovative in Health Alliance Plan, Marianne? Well, like this car, we are working on forward thinking. We're trying really hard to be sort of cutting edge, and we've been working on individualized plan designs rather than doing population health and population plan designs the way HMOs were originally designed. We've been working with Dr. Fendricks at the University of Michigan in the Center for Value-Based Insurance Design, and we're putting together programs that will design benefits for individuals, particularly with chronic diseases, mm so that one individual in a group may have a different plan design than another individual in that same group based on their health status with incentives for them to get the appropriate care and incentives for them to take their prescriptions and medicines as opposed to a perhaps a young healthy person who doesn't need that much coverage. Yeah, that's that's great. Let me, uh, you've been doing great work on health engagement too. Tell, tell us a little bit about the health engagement activities you've been doing. Health engagement is fundamentally rooted in the concept that if we all participate in keeping ourselves well and taking care of our own personal health over time, we really do bend the trend, the cost curve in uh, insurance claims and in the expenses for taking care of somebody when they're sick. So health engagement puts uh, incentives forward for us to have our blood pressure checked and our sugar levels checked and to stay at a healthy weight and to exercise and to stop smoking and all the things that in the long term will keep us from getting sick and costing our employers and our insurance companies a lot more money. That's great. Well, you can see in this technology we're bending the curve on gas use uh, because this is uh, one of the great uh, technologies. When, when would you like to buy one of these? Tomorrow. <laughs> They're great. I can't even hear it coming into the parking lot. Great. Well, really appreciate your time. We're off to West Bloomfield. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. One of the things about the car, it, it, it's built with low resistance and what that means is that you have very low resistance on making your car move forward and that allows you to get better gas mileage but it also with that low resistance your car tends to coast more so let's say if there's a red light up there and you're really realistically maybe an eighth of a mile away you can take your foot off the gas and the car just rolls so effortlessly but the good thing is is when you take your foot off the gas, this battery recharges rather than use it. It's nice. Yeah, I've been driving that. Yeah. Comfy? Yeah. Quiet. And fast. Oh, yeah? Well, we're here at the uh, Henry Ford West Bloomfield facility and talk about innovation. There is no innovation in healthcare and hospitals like this, uh, this center. We're here, really, uh, it's a great honor to have Gerard Van Grisman, the CEO and President you, of the uh, Henry Ford West Bloomfield uh, facility. Also want to bring in uh, Frank Venegas. Uh, Frank from the Ideal Group. Hello. And so Frank has brought us uh, here in his Volt, uh, one of his uh, two Volts. Uh, one of the great technologies in, uh, in automotives, uh, now especially using electric uh, technology to cut down on that uh, gas mileage. But, but we're really here to talk to Gerard about innovations within uh, the Henry Ford West Bloomfield facility because I, I think this is something which is many, many of these uh, uh, innovations are your creations. Many of them are bringing back the old creations that Henry Ford started. So tell us a little bit about this facility, Gerard. Well, thank you for being here. And obviously, it's exciting that we were able to create a community center for well-being here, where we take advantage of the Henry Ford Medical Group, the Henry Ford Health System, in creating great clinical excellence, great patient safety, but now also become the health coach, the mentor to the communities we operate in. We have private rooms, and it's not because we want to be the luxury provider. It's because it reduces infection rates significantly and it helps the healing of our patient. Hence our length of stay is significantly down compared to our competitors. Our re-emission rates are some of the lowest in the Henry Ford Health System. So it's paying off to invest in the well-being of our customers. That's beautiful. Now Frank, you mentioned that you uh, actually have a, 
have a product here on the uh, West Bloomfield uh, campus. Tell us a little bit about well, that. Out front, we, uh, we invented a product about 15 years ago. It's actually one of the dumbest products in the whole wide world. But the greatest thing is that you don't have to paint anymore. And since you don't have to paint, you save the e ecology, but it costs you about $35 to paint it each time. And ours will last forever, so you really uh, you change that. But I gotta tell you, the aura you have in this building right here, I'm not a real good hospital stare, but I gotta t tell you, I'd visit you. I'll check you in. Good. <laughs> well, uh, we'd prefer you just visit, and there's plenty of retail services you can visit here, so we'd, uh, we'd rather see that, uh, Frank, than have you uh, on the hospital end. But I want to thank uh, Gerard. Uh, we're going to get back in the thank Bolt. Uh, we've actually switched over to gas uh, from the electric, uh, but uh, we're going to see how many miles per gallon it's going to take uh, uh, to get over the Chass Clinic in southwest Detroit <laughs> and then back, uh, back to Henry Ford Thanks. Hospital. But again, appreciate your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank appreciate you. It. Thank you. I'm really pleased to be here with the CEO of uh, CHAS, Ricardo Guzman, and the physician in charge, Chief Medical Officer Felix Valbuena, Jr. Uh, this is uh, really uh, another one of the innovations, and we're standing next to the innovation uh, here, uh, which is uh, the new CHAS, uh, CHAS clinic. So uh, I'll start off with you, uh, Ricardo. Tell, tell us a little bit about what you're doing with the, uh, with the new, uh, new CHAS clinic. Well, you know, one of the key pieces in this has been our relationship with Henry Ford Health System over the past 41 years and Ford being our lead gift for this new center, a $3 million gift for a $17 million project that uh, we have in Southwest Detroit and in this facility. The innovation in this, in this building is incredible. Uh, we're not uh, West Bloomfield, but you know we're pretty close to it as far as we're concerned. Uh, in particular, our electronic medical record, which is a new uh, electronic uh, system for our for our uh, medical records as well as our practice management system that is state-of-the-art that's going to allow us to have connectivity with Henry Ford along with our patients along with all of the other services uh, that we have at the center. We're going to go from a 15,000 square foot building to a 48,000 square foot building with all the bells and whistles that uh, the uh, providers are going to be able to work with and, to, and provide quality, comprehensive primary health care. Yeah, that's great, Ricardo. And Felix, tell, tell us what you'll be able to do in the new facility that uh, you couldn't do in the older facility. Okay, so first of all, we're going to have a lot more space. We're going from 15 exam rooms to 28 exam rooms. We're going to have a lot more space in each exam room to do what we need to do. We'll have four procedure rooms. We'll be doing things that we don't currently do here. We have uh, x-ray, we have mammography. Uh, we'll be able to do casting uh, for people who have uh, fractures, and we'll be able to do procedures uh, such as um, flexible sigmoidoscopy as well as colposcopy, all things that are needed in the community that we currently don't have here at our current site. That's great. You know, this is, uh, I, I, I love this partnership. You know, I, uh, we have a neighborhood around Henry Ford Hospital uh, that we call the Midtown area or the New Center area, but I honestly think that Southwest Detroit is the true neighborhood of uh, Henry Ford Hospital. So love to see the new site. We can't wait. We'll do a uh, Doc in the D blog as soon as the uh, new facility is fully open. Take a tour. But I want to thank uh, Ricardo. We want to make sure you get John. back here for the opening. I right? will be here. I will be here. And Felix, Obviously. great work. Thank, thank you. you very much. Excellent. Thank you. thank you. Beautiful. Very nice. What's a great distinguishing characteristic of, uh, of this city is, uh, is really its innovation from inception uh, till today. And you saw great examples of what innovation uh, is in, uh, in Detroit. We, we started, first of all, with a great innovator and entrepreneur with uh, Frank uh, Venegas. Frank uh, has uh, done incredible things uh, here as part of the Ideal uh, Group. But uh, the way that uh, uh, today uh, started was the ability to uh, get in one of his volts, one of his two volts, and take a tour around the uh, Henry Ford Health System. And so we were able to see the innovations in the Clinical Innovation uh, uh, Center uh, there on uh, campus uh, uh, at Henry Ford. We saw uh, uh, the new innovations within Health Alliance Plan, uh, the beautiful Henry Ford West Bloomfield facility, and then the uh, CHAS Clinic and the innovations in uh, providing uh, care within the Southwest uh, Detroit. Uh, one of the beautiful uh, things about the innovation of the Volt uh, that uh, uh, was a great example today, as you'll see on, uh, on the uh, screens, 
So we did this uh, with a uh, little over 100 miles per gallon. Uh, uh, we kicked in the gas. Uh, we couldn't make it all on electric uh, out to West Bloomfield, but uh, over 100 miles per gallon. It really shows you the great innovation within the automotive uh, technology, not only for uh, uh, the Volt and, uh, and Chevrolet, but what's going on in uh, uh, one of our great companies in Ford Motor Company and also Chrysler moving, uh, moving ahead. Uh, much of that this technology but we see technology and innovation really thriving we certainly see this in uh, medical uh, innovation uh, we're really looking to continue to be part of this great innovation scene and in, uh, in the rebirth of the city of detroit thank you